girl, are you okay? Instax. Instax? I want an Instax. Why do you want an Instax? Because all of the famous girls in the campus have Instax. I've got to have an Instax. I've got to. Why? Look at it rationally. Instax are too pricey. Besides, it's too small than the usual cameras. You don't understand. It's the thing to do. I'll do anything for Instax. Anything. Anything? Hey, Patty, are you in love with Paul S.P.? I think he's a kin kid, but I don't know if you'd call it love, right? Do you have any kind of formal arrangement with him? I mean, are you going steady or anything like that? No, we see each other quite a bit, but we both have other dates, why? Right? Is there any other girl he's attracted with? Not that I know of. Why? Mm, I just want to know, girl. What are you getting at? Nothing. Nothing. Just wait for a while, okay? Where are you going? Hey, Max. Look at this bag. It's so beautiful. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, I remember. You want an Instax, right? Well, I have one, but I need something in return. Something in return? What is it? Yes, I want Paul. Paul S. P. No, of course not. Okay, if that's your decision, then I'm fine with it. But wait, we're having dates and conversations, but we're not into a serious relationship, so it's a it's deal. A deal. we're going to talk about? Logic. Wow, amazing. Logic is the science of thinking. Before we can think correctly, we must first learn to recognize the common fallacies of logic. This we take up today. So let's begin. First, let us examine the first fallacy called dicto simpliciter. Dicto simpliciter means an argument based on an, an unqualified generalization. For example, exercise is good. Therefore, everybody should exercise. Yes, I agree. I mean, exercise is good, right? Paul, the argument is a fallacy. Exercise is good is an unqualified generalization. For instance, if you have heart disease, exercise is bad, not good. Many people are ordered by their doctors not to exercise. You must qualify the generalization. You must say, exercise is usually good for most people. Otherwise, you have committed a dicto simpliciter. Do you see? No, but this is marvelous. Do more, do more. Next, we take up a fallacy called hasty generalization. Listen carefully. You can't speak French. I can't speak French. Petty can't speak French. I must therefore conclude that nobody in the University of the East can speak French. Really? Nobody? Paul, it's a fallacy. The generalization is reached too hastily. There are too few instances to support such a conclusion. No any more fallacies? This is more fun than dancing even! Next comes post hoc. Listen to this. Let's not take Gemma or picnic. Every time we take her out with us, it rains. I know somebody like that. A girl named Noreen Becker. It never fails. It happens every time we take her on a picnic. It's a fallacy. Noreen Becker doesn't cause the rain. She has no connection with the rain. You are guilty of the post hoc if you blame Noreen Becker. I never do that again. Are you mad at me? Then tell me more fallacies. I think we'd better call it a day. I need to go home now and you go over all the things you have learned. We'll have another session tomorrow.
So listen carefully. Man applies for a job. When the boss asks him what are his qualifications, he replies, I have a wife and six children at home. My wife is a helpless people. Our children have nothing to eat. No clothes to wear. No shoes in their feet. There are no beds in our house. No coal in the cellar. And the winter is coming. Ah, oh, this is awful. Yes, awful. I agree. But it's no argument. The man never answered the boss's question about his qualifications. Instead, of he appealed to the boss's sympathy. He committed the fallacy of ad misericordia. Do you understand? Next, we will discuss false analogy. Here is an example. Students should be allowed to look at their textbooks during examinations. After all, surgeons have x-rays to guide them during an operation. Lawyers have briefs to guide them during a trial. Carpenters have blueprints to guide them when they are building a house. Why then shouldn't students be allowed to look at their textbooks during an examination? Ah, uh, this is awful. Paul, the argument is all wrong. Doctors, lawyers, and carpenters aren't taking a test to see how much they have learned. But, students are. The situations are entirely different. And you can make an analogy between them. Next, we'll try hypothesis contrary to fact. Listen, if Madame Curry had not happened to leave a photographic plate in a drawer with a trunk of pitch blend, the world today would not know about radio. Okay, so the next fallacy is called poisoning the well. How cute! Two men are having a debate. The first one gets up and says, My opponent is a notorious liar. You can't believe a word he's going to say. Now Paul, think. Think hard. What's wrong? False analogy. Right! You've got it! Absolutely! You see, my dear? These things aren't so hard. All you have to do is concentrate, think, examine, evaluate. Come now, let's review everything we have learned. Come on, let's go. Paul, tonight we're going to discuss fallacy. Oh, that's sad. My dear, we spent five nights together. We have gotten along splendidly. It's clear that we are newly matched. Hasty generalization. I beg your pardon? Hasty generalization? How can you say that we are well matched on the basis of only five dates? My dear, five dates is plenty. After all, you don't have to eat the whole cake to know it's good. False analogy. I'm not a cake. I'm a boy. Paul, I love you. You are the whole world to me. The moon, the stars, and the constellations of the whole outer space. Please, my darling, say that you will go steady with me. For if you will not, life will be meaningless. I will languish. I will refuse my meals. I will wander the face of the earth, a shambling, hollow-eyed hook. Ad misericordia. Well, Paul, you have certainly learned your fallacies. You're absolutely right. And who taught that to you, Paul? You did. That's right. So you do owe me something. Don't you, my dear? If I hadn't come along, you never would have learned about fallacies. Hypothesis contrary to fact. Paul, you mustn't take all these things literally. I mean, this is just classroom stuff. You know that the things you learn in school don't have anything to do. Dicto simpliciter. Will you or will you not go steady with me? I will not. Why not? It's this afternoon. I promised Pity that I will go steady with her real back. That rat? Go with her, Paul. She's a liar. She's a cheater. She's a rat. Ew! Poisoning the well. I said stop shouting. I think shouting is a fallacy too. You are a logician. Let's look at this thing logically. How could you choose Petty over me? Look at me! A brilliant student, 
a tremendous intellectual, a woman with an assured future. Look at Betty, a knothead, a jitterbug, a girl who never know her next meal is coming from. Can you give me one logical reason why you should go steady with her? I certainly can. She got an instax. Thank you for watching! Bye!